Hello everybody, you must uh, wonder where I was for the last few weeks. Uh, well, I was in construction mode, a lot of renovations on the house and then uh, caught up with life. And um, I got back to the machine during that time a few, a few times, but I was never able to put up a video together. So here I am with uh, the new version of the machine. So this is the brand new iteration. Uh, I guess we can call it Mark II, you know, for the geeks out there. So um, I'll uh, go over all the details, but for that, I'll move the camera over there. So see you in a bit. Okay. So here's the new machine. Uh, I'm gonna put up another video that explain um, uh, what went wrong or uh, because I did test with the other machine. So I'm gonna put a, another little video. I'm gonna try to put the link here at the bottom that explains uh, the results of my initial tests that led to building this. And um, so I'm gonna explain quickly some of the, the reasons and um, we'll, uh, if you want to have more details, just click on the other video. So uh, basically this is the old tower. Uh, that was the back tower, which was connected to this lever system, which was disconnecting the Lego. And uh, that was the, the, the main problem that I had is that initially I had this connected uh, with a hard connection to these two things here and the kind of movement that it would create is that instead of doing a nice little rotation like that it would rotate and then yank the lego out and so that was the the biggest problem that i had so i i took that out and then also what happened is once i had that movement uh being just a rotation movement it simplified everything so what I have now, as you can see now, I can just take this out, which is, makes it a lot easier to uh, change the Lego, uh, the little, the, the, the pair of bricks here. I just have to pull it out, you know, quickly uh, take it out. And uh, so basically what's going on now is that I do a, just a simple rotation. It uh, touches this, which is um, firmly attached. And it doesn't, this here doesn't have to do two things, which is holding this and on top of that, uh, hammering the thing back down so um, now I'm gonna start it and then I'll show you how it works okay so so now it's powered up so if I press reset it does a it is reset which is to make sure that this motor is completely down this one completely up and then it's in it's gonna check if the Lego is on I'm gonna have to put a sensor uh, I haven't done that yet. That's the last final step that I have to do. So as soon as I turn the, the thing on, what it does is disassemble the Lego, check that it's off, puts it back on, and then check that it's on. So it's a bit faster. It's about seven seconds, I think. I'm going to calculate that, but um, it's about seven seconds per test. But now it's much smoother, much more control. It doesn't do that yanking thing that created the problem and uh, so that's a, a very interesting thing the one of the big big difference that i have also you know, let it finish is iteration one of the big problems that i had was um, the rotation sensor so i took down the two rotation sensors that i had installed on the motors so if i turn that around you'll see that there's no more rotation sensors, but now there's that that uh, proto board in the back. And uh, what's going on now is that the motors are uh, powered um, uh, still through this uh, shield here, but the current goes through those two little uh, current sensors. And then I, I read that sensor uh, with the analog inputs on the Arduino and uh, I was able to uh, basically what I did is I profiled a uh, motor so I had the motor attached to uh, another structure and I tested uh, the motor free running and then I tested the motor uh, stalled and uh, I increased the power in both modes and then that way I was able to to map or make a graph 
of uh, how the, the engines uh, consume uh, electricity. And now I know at what time to detect that there's a stall. So this is how I uh, stop the motors now. So as soon as they, as they stall, I can uh, detect that and then I stop the movement right away. So it's much more efficient than before where I would just wait for the rotation sensors to stop telling me uh, that there's a rotation and then wait for like uh, you know half a second to make sure so it was putting strain on the whole thing I actually broke one of the axle by doing that so um, it's this is much more efficient and um, I'm pretty I basically I used every almost every single pieces that I had for this thing uh, but you know this is uh, this is I'm very happy with the final result. Uh, just to explain a bit the, the new structure, uh, like I mentioned, this here uh, uh, basically is just a guide now for this uh, this little thing here, and also it's a guide for uh, the servo here, which go in and out through through this hole here, and prevents this from going up, so that it makes uh, this movement, and when it's free like that, it can go just up. So this tower now basically replaces this, so that thing's gone. Then uh, I had, uh, if you remember uh, the old model, if you go check the other video, you'll remember that I had something attached to this here that was uh, holding the two Legos uh, aligned together. So I had something like that about, and it was going up and down. And the purpose of this is that the two Lego bricks are uh, tightly together so that when they come back down they stay together. These two enormous towers now, which is completely overkill, but that's all I am, is doing that. Basically they're keeping the two uh, bricks aligned. Uh, this here uh, is replacing that old little gizmo of a mechanism that I had that was like kind of holding the thing. So now it's just uh, uh, basically those two bolts here are touching that. And I made a little groove, so I kind of <laughs> damaged the, <laughs> the material here, but I made a little tiny groove here to ensure that they wouldn't slip. So basically, when it turns like that, the, the, the little screw here this, the, goes into the groove, and then I get the nice little uh, detached movement that I wanted. Uh, other than that, do I have something else? No, I think that's it. Uh, so basically this is all uh, simplified. This bar here is just so that the towers don't go uh, wiggling all over the place. And um, also I learned from the first model, you know, to try to keep everything even. So now I have a nice even bottom. I put two tires underneath so that it wouldn't vibrate the table and make it a lot of noise. But it's now, and now it's a much more stable system than previously with all the weird legs and stuff. So that's it, the big update, sorry for the big long update, but I had a whole bunch of things to catch up with you guys. And um, now all I need to do is a little uh, infrared sensor to make sure that the Lego is on or off and uh, make sure it works. And then I'm gonna probably get started with the first test and uh, we'll see what happens. Psychedelic party is buena sensación. The psychedelic party, eso sí es el sol. Psychedelic party, toda confusión. Psychedelic party, es alucinación.